All right, you two. Uh, we're gonna working on our flower bed, herb garden, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig all this up, and you can see a bucket full of cigarette butts. Cigarette butts are biodegradable, and they'll act like a loam when you till them in with the soil. So it'll help, uh, you know, hold retain that moisture because this is very sandy soil. Uh, somebody had a flower bed here at one point in time. Previous owners did. Uh, I emptied my ashes out in my heater today. It's still a little warm. Uh, gonna put those in there to uh, help build up the soil too. Uh, I've already started digging this up. And you can see right in there that's about two inches of good soil which is better than where we dug for our compost pit but the rest of it very sandy so it doesn't hold moisture uh, also got some green compost in here I'm gonna till up in there with it help break it down uh, got a few roots and things in here you know stuff like this but just shake them off like that take them right out like right, I said I'm gonna leave these right here because there's the onions uh, I did take up my daffodils and uh, put them up there at my mailbox they'll they'll do all right basically what I did is uh, dug around them you know about an inch away from the base of them and just a full spade shovel full so that's what about eight to ten inches maybe yeah about eight inches and uh dug them up one plot i didn't separate them or anything because it's still kind of cool cool weather and uh went up there by my mailbox and dug up a bunch of dirt and grass and planted them out there and then Put the dirt in here, and you see I got my mattock. Uh, bought that at a yard sale for two or three bucks, and got some old four by fours that my dad had laying around to kind of frame it out. And just in case you're wondering, what's up under the bucket is a tree stump. So I'm gonna have fun getting that out too. But uh. I'll give you some updates on it, and hopefully by springtime it'll be ready to All right, people. Uh, as you can see, I done got the stump out, except for that little guy right there. I didn't feel like taking a loose a, a cheap-ass underpin. But, uh, i tell you what, a valuable tool for this is a Ford F-150. It pulled it right out. No problem. So, one less thing to worry about. All, all right, right. we've uh, dug it up, got it all out, and screened it down. We got it nice and aerated. Uh, did till in some cigarette butts, kind of help with the uh, moisture retention. And a little bit of green compost. Now, if you come down here, I'd say one inch by one inch or three quarter inch by three quarter inch screen. It was laying around the house when I bought it, so it's kind of handy. Works good to get the rocks out and stuff like that. So basically, you just take the soil, and do it like this, just break it up, don't push it through the screen because those rocks that are small enough to go through it but not quite at the right angle will uh, be forced through there and you'll end up putting rocks in the screen, through the screen. Now you can re-screen it again, but with the amount of rocks that I had in this thing, I just went with this. And there's one right there. It also helps to get roots, and basically undesirable material out. 
and it doesn't take too long. I'd say about six hours. So it does get smaller rocks out. And as you're grabbing, you can fill rocks like that one. Get it out. There's a small one that wouldn't have got caught by the wire. Uh oh. But it's fine enough to where it looks almost like a tiller dug it up. And you can see down there close to the bottom, I'm starting to get some clay, which is really nice with this sandy soil I got. So maybe the next few years it'll digging it up and doing this and going finer screen and it'll get us some good soil mixture in there. So it also gets roots. Alright. Well, we just take our well more mm -hmm. of our little full of dirt. No. Then we can take a rake. Rake it back in the corner. Rake right it down. Board it out. But you get the idea. Get it back smooth. So this is what, five buckets? Five buckets of rocks and roots we got out of this little area right here. Which isn't bad. But uh, still a lot to grow stuff in. Uh, now this, I went behind my house. And it's basically rotten wood. I mean, it's coming to pieces. But it's also extremely wet. I don't know how well you can see that. And see, with this, mixed in with the bed over there, it'll create a nice loam. So, well-drained, moist soil is when you have a soil that can drain off the most the majority of the water, but yet have pieces like this that hold water so the roots can come in there and they'll suck all that water out of there. I'm also going to do leaves. These are just all oak leaves. Uh, you can grind them up if you want to, like this. You can get them real fine and crush them up in there and mix them in there. Or you can just put them in there as whole, mix them up in there, and eventually they'll break down. They tend to break down faster when you crush them. Uh, you can run over them with a lawnmower too if you have a bagging type lawnmower. That way it don't send it everywhere and they're pain in the butt to clean up. And I am going to put some pine straw in there too to mix in there with it to give it that uh, uh, rich quality and help build up the soil. Uh, it'll take, take a few years of doing this every year, but... Uh, I'd say in about three years of doing this, every year that'll be a nice little spot to have to grow pretty much anything you want in it. Um, it's not necessarily a southern uh, face, 
but uh, during the summertime, the sun stays right here until about 2 o'clock. So this gets morning to 2 o'clock sun. So that's pretty much full sun, you know, because full sun plants require at least 8 hours of sun. So that, that categorizes right at full sun. So you can pretty much plant anything in here, except right by the steps. Uh, that's partial sun. And I, I figured I wasn't going to plant that yet. I'll figure something else on that. Might put some pots or something. But uh, just for the update, we're going to mix all this in and let it sit for a little while and until about another month. And then we'll give you a All right, as you can see, we uh, threw the leaves and pine straw in the rotten wood chips in there which are still fairly moist uh, we started composted it in I mean uh, tilling it in there by hand but we still got a little ways to go so that should be it for now I mean that's pretty much ready to plant you can uh, plant it in a pine straw like it is and it'll actually take root or you can till it up more and get you a nice bed of dirt on there but uh, any questions or comments, you know where to leave them and see you on the next.